Greetings from Austria. I will try to show how something like this could be achieved. It's not so easy because uh, this is not the same as this. Because if you make this shape here with a shell tool, this distance is another distance than this here. You can see it in 3D, I've made it already. It is possible to do this with Morph, but it's not possible to get this here. Because if this is straight down, it's much larger than rectangular. So let's start from the beginning. Shell, no, uh, no, normal shell, shell. So, okay, the, the, the morph I have to erase it, maybe in other stories too. Yes, so let's start from the beginning. Okay, shell. Never. Okay, that should do the task. Here I have a section, a fluid section. There's the shell. And now I have to change the shell a little bit. It's easy because if you click on this blue, you can make it straight and give it to wherever you want it. New point with this. And now, okay, now bend it up. Okay, I have to bend it up this way. So you have this shape in 3D. This one. But it's not straight down. If you make it straight down, it's much a larger distance than rectangular, as I said before. You can do this in straight down. It's not that big problem because if you make it here straight, just give it another point here and give it on the exact angle 90 degrees down and hold the shift key don't let the shift key go and click and give it as near as you can and then you can bend it from here with this function again and it stays straight down. So that's just a knock. I make it new. Yes. So, so if you take this and make a morph out of it, out of it okay, let's do it a, a line two. line and spacebar and now you have the morph in 3D at the position of the section which you can give to wherever you want. So I have to cut out this. It's also not very easy. I just have to I do it right from just feeling 45 degrees and the rest is 
this way. So this is a hatch. This is a shell. I go to I don't know how it's called in English and shell and define the contour. This is activated, I define the contour. And then, okay, I have to bend it before. Hmm. This one bend with this function, not with this, to get it tangential. Now I can cut out shell, shell, planning, shell, contour define, space bar, okay. space bar not working for me now. Right again. Okay, I think I did it. It does, just didn't show the cursor right. Okay, it did it. Cut it, this out. So, uh, for the shell tool, uh, for the morph tool, this one has to be at the beginning, of course. Here. And the would like to get another one here. Okay, I see it not uh, anymore in the. Okay, get it here. This one is blue. It has to go there. So now I'm taking. Okay. Where is the point? Here is the point. Turn it to the right story, I think. Okay, here it is. I just have to turn it. Rotate it. And I have to rotate it twice. So I go to this here. Here it is. Let's have a look. This is the point. Sits on the red point, turn, also rotate it. To here. And now I just have to connect these. For Archicad, it's not easy to follow this cut it out line. So it's better to change this shell into a morph, then you can get all the points from this 3D line. But you lose the ability to change the shape later in an easy way. So it should be a good idea to copy this to get the original form as shell later after there have to be made some changes cut out holes and so on. Oh, okay. I didn't make the right back. Okay, now I have to copy. And this one I change to morph. This is a morph, and I can follow this line. And I will do this. Why? No, I make a new line. Okay. I begin here. And now I follow the contour with enough points to get it. Here's a point. I keep this one here, 
one there, here's one, here's one, here's one. Change the, the perspective because if I made some uh, mistakes, it's only you can only make it bigger because um, it's, it's a little bit faster. But you should do this really more exact than the, in, in my uh, tutorial video here. And here it should be an arc so I can get to the end. And bend this with this. Now it's okay. So this is the line. Beginning, end. Uh, capital V. Okay, there's some mistake here. Capital V. Yeah, capital v. Do, do I have to do it again? No. Yes. Okay. Some mistake. I have to make this one and this one. Change it to this point. And don't forget to get this back to black so we can get the whole thing. This one, this one, capital V. Now the shape's better. Okay, make my po more points than I did. So the next step we have to put these things together with. Right click, full operation, union, unify. So then click in the face somewhere. It's, like it's, it's not really. So if you take it out, this you will not follow this. But if you put a click on in the next step, you click on the beginning point of your line here. And now you can follow your line easily. And it will follow your curve. You just have to find the points that you made or the middle points from the lines. It doesn't matter. So now. I'm on the beginning of this arc, I think. So I go just, I'm not on the beginning, do I? And I should be, okay. Just when you have the point of the start, of the bandit arc, it follows. Okay. Now I have this. Capital V. Capital V. And you can see it follows, but here is the problem I've told you because here it's bigger than here. The shape. So this is no work at all. Just click it, the face. Yeah, I have to click on the red thing. So here is nothing else, and I can stamp this out. Okay. Uh, obviously, I'm not really on the right angle. I didn't rotate it right. 
So I no. I do the same. Start point. Oh no. Okay. I can make one point and then I can go to the end. If I made some mis mistake like this, I have to make one little segment to get the right direction again. And here I hope I had rotated it the right way. Click on the face somewhere with where nothing else is. And then it should go with this stamping out. So ready, but with the problem that here something is a little bit different because the angle is not the same. Here you can see it. It's bigger. Okay. I hope it helped and have fun with it. Greetings from Austria, from Salzburg.